one of the questions I get asked most frequently is should I get my exam papers remarked? So we're going to talk about a few different situations in which you should get it remarked and a few different situations in which you shouldn't get it remarked. We're going to talk about how close you are to grade boundaries, whether you need to get it remarked, and then we're going to talk about the differences between subjects. Now there are going to be different situations which every single different person is in so there's no general yes and there's no general no answer to this you need to look at your situation and then talk to your teachers talk to the exam officer talk to the people at home and decide whether it's the right thing for you now english and maths for gcse you will have to really sit this if you do not pass so if you do not get a four or above then you have to resit it now, if when you look at your um, exam sheet, you look at the breakdown of the, the amount of marks that you got, and then you look at the grade boundaries, and you see that you got a three, that you were just below that grade boundary for a four. Maybe you were like two marks below the grade boundary, and because you didn't get those two marks, you have to resit English or maths for a whole nother year. Now, in that circumstance, if it was me, I would get that paper remarked because you only need to find two marks on the paper. You might need to pay for it. You know, this can be about thirty-five pounds per paper. You might want to get all papers remarked. So for three papers, that could be quite a lot of money. Um, but spending that money now might mean that you don't have to redo English or maths for a whole nother year. Now, the important thing is uh, when you're getting your papers remarked, there is no guarantee that the mark will go up. The mark could go down as well, which means you are stuck with the new mark. You don't get to pick and choose which mark you have. You are stuck with the remark. So there is always the risk that it might go down. Another circumstance in which I personally would go for a remark is if you need a higher grade to get into college or get into university or to get into the course that you want to. So for example you need a 7 to go and do um, A level chemistry but you got a 6 and you can see you are really really close to that grade boundary but the school will not let you on unless you get a 7. Um, in that circumstance, then I personally would go for a remark. You have to decide what you personally would do. Lots of people to talk to about this, but if you definitely need that higher grade, if you cannot get into the course that you want to without that higher grade, and you're really close to that grade boundary, then in my opinion, it's worth trying. Now, in both of these situations I just talked about, people were, or hypothetical people were, close to the grade boundaries because generally they don't find a lot of marks that are missing. So if you're just over the grade boundary from a five to a six, you're only just scraped into a six, it is unlikely that in a remark you're going to find enough marks to go all the way up to a seven or an eight. That's that's unlikely to happen. They occasionally but not always find a few marks which might tip someone over the grade boundary but it's not always going to happen. Now there are differences between subjects as well. The marking in maths and science is kind of like the marking. There's not much opinion about what 2 plus 2 makes. There's not much opinion on factorising things or the number of protons. It's kind of like the facts. So the marking for maths and science is generally pretty good. It's the essay based subjects, those long answer subjects where we're generally going to find more marks that are floating around. Especially in things like English where you had a long time to answer a question and you know some of those answers were quite long and on a really diverse range of topics, write a letter, write an article, a bit of creative writing. And the examiner has kind of like a set of guidelines but it is really opinion based. Now the examiners are very very experienced at this but that doesn't necessarily mean that everyone has exactly the same opinion and what one examiner might think is a, a four answer if another examiner looks at it they might think that's a five answer. 
So in the essay based subjects, you know, English, history, there are going to be lots more changes in grades than there are in kind of like the, the answer based, I know it's not the quote word, but kind of like the factual based subjects like maths and science. Now, if you were predicted a high grade, say you were predicted a five and you only got a four, or you predicted a six and you only got a four, if you're not very happy with your grades, but you don't need a higher grade, then you may want to go for a remark, but it's not always going to be the best idea. Say you wanted um, a six and you got a four and you're not very happy with that, which four is a brilliant grade, by the way. Um, but if you're not very happy with the grade that you got and you want to go for a remark, but it's just for vanity reason, then personally, I wouldn't. Uh, you do have to pay for remarks. Uh, your school might pay for them for you, but the money has to come from somewhere. So either your school will pay for it or you have to pay for it personally. And if it's just for vanity's sake, then I personally wouldn't do that. Um, you know, if you're aiming for like a really, really fancy university and you think you need all eights and nines at GCSE and you want to do it for that reason, then you can try. But you have to have to keep in mind always that your grades might go down as well as up. So, yeah, people are always asking me, should I get this remark? Should I get this remark? And there is no one answer, it really, really depends on your circumstances, whether you need a higher grade, whether you're going to have to reset, whether you can get onto that college, that A-level course, how close you are to the grade boundaries and what subject you are thinking about getting remarked. Now, one of the examples um, edits out, and I think the other examples will follow because it's quite a good idea. It will make your scripts available, your exam papers, your scripts, um, available online for your teachers to view basically straight away so if you're not happy with your grade um, in a subject you can go to your teacher or go to the exams officer and say can we look at this paper you can sit down with your teacher look at the paper and your teacher can say oh no there's a mark missing there or I think you got, should have got three marks for this instead of two marks and then you can apply for a remark kind of like kind of knowing what the results going to be but that's only fair at Excel um so yeah, good luck guys. Uh, please let me know how you get on. I am absolutely desperate to find out.